Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to San Jose, California, as the California Sea Kings getting ready to host the Vancouver Volcanoes. Sea Kings come into this game with a 3-0 spotless record. On the flip side, however, the Volcanoes are 0-3, still looking for their first win. Each of these teams' previous matchup was against the same team. For the Sea Kings, they beat them 122 to 100. There were six Sea King players in double figures, led by Nigel Jones as 26 points. Akil Douglas and D'Angelo Jackson each teaming up with 18. Greg Foster had 15, and Jalen Smith had 12. For the Volcanoes, they lost a close one, 108, 101 to the Magic. Despite the loss, that was their highest scoring game of the season. As Jackson quickly firing up the three. Off the mark for the Sea Kings. Here come the Volcanoes. The 
Swinging it around the horn. Coleman with it. Picks his dribble up at the free throw line. Hands it off. Three. Fired up and in. Marcus Golder. Puts Vancouver up early. Jones attacks baseline and gets inside for the easy deuce. Jones picking up right where he left off in that last game against Bakersfield. Into the corner it goes, Coleman with it. Looking to get it inside to Woods. Instead he passes it back out. Another three, too strong. Rebounded by the Sea Kings. Foster turns on the Jets. And the Sea Kings take a one point lead. Woods, another three goes bottom for the Volcanoes. We've got a brief issue with the score table, getting that straightened out. As Vancouver, a pair of three point buckets to go up six to four. They're getting things straightened out. 10.22 left in the quarter. Not sure if it was a shot clock malfunction or what the issue may have been, but assistant coach now for the Sea King, Zach over there trying to help things get straightened out. And while we got a moment here, I'd like to let you know if you want to watch more TBL basketball, you can watch all TBL games from across the country on TBL TV. And coming up right here of our partner Silicone Sports in this gym, April 1st will be the big opener. They'll have a VIP viewing area as well as a 9 and 10 year old exhibition game between the Valley and the Central Coast. It'll be a great time with the youngsters out on the court. No better way to spend your Friday evening as we are now back to action with the Sea Kings trailing by two. As we've reached another delay. as we're still trying to figure out the kinks here. Six to four, Vancouver leads it. They've been spraying in the threes early. Meanwhile, the Sea Kings, both their buckets coming off the dribble. Starting lineups for both of these teams. Greg Foster out there with Jalen Smith, D'Angelo Jackson, Akil Douglas, and Nigel Jones. For the visiting Volcanoes, Jalen Richardson, Keontae Woods, Marcus Golder, Jerron Powell, and Christopher Coleman round out the starting five for Vancouver. Now we are back to action as Jackson with a ball fake and then says, hey, I'm open, why not? Showing off the mid-range game. We know he can shoot it very well from outside. He hit down four three-pointers in the win against Bakersfield. As I believe there was another shot clock malfunction as Jalen Richardson is awaiting to inbound it along the far sideline. Shot clock resets to 24. And now I believe they're trying to reset the game clock as well. D'Angelo Jackson now sharing a word with Jalen Smith. And you have the Volcano team huddled up there. Top of the key. Players using this as a makeshift timeout with this 
minor delay. So the shot clock now was at 19 and it popped back to 24. And KJ Duran Select giving his applause on the sideline. Back to action we go as the Volcanoes turn it over. Jones. Euro steps and then kicks it out. And the Sea Kings seem to believe that that was deflected. And the ref's going to overrule what the Sea Kings were expecting as they give possession back to the Volcanoes. And another shot clock issue. Our officiating crew, Nathan Curtis, Dron Harris, and Devin Anthony on top of it so far today. Inbounds goes to Woods. Deflected beyond the half court line. Seekings thought it wasn't touched by them, but either way, it's a fast break opportunity. The lob upstairs as Foster was trying to get Douglas. Another opportunity here for the Volcanoes to take the lead. And Woods getting grabbed. Nope, it's a moving screen. Check that. Foster comes off the screen from Douglas. Crosses up. Attacks going to his left. And got bumped on the shoulder. Foster at the line now shooting two. He's already got two points in this one. Sea Kings with some spread out scoring and they could hit you in a multiple multitude of different ways as they have a ton of different scoring threats deep on this team. And the lefty knocks down both his free throws. Vancouver still just sitting with those two triples that they hit in the same exact spot. And they are again swinging it around the horn. The three-pointer is up and no good, but they get the offensive rebound. Douglas able to disrupt it. And then we got a whistle coming in. And I believe they're going to get Douglas. Coleman on the inbounds. Woods with it. Over to Richardson. Richardson crosses up. A difficult shot, well contested. But it's going to stay on this end of the court with 11 seconds on the shot clock for the Volcanoes. Woods inbounding. Golder, a nice entry feed. And the Volcanoes emphatically tie this one up. Fast break opportunity. Behind the back pass into traffic. Traveling on Christopher Coleman. 
Keontae Woods had the nice feed inside as we take another look at that two-hand flush for the Volcanoes. We have a player down on the opposite end of the court. So we'll step away and we'll be back to action with 8.43 left to play in quarter number one. Pete Martinez onto the court for the Sea Kings as Greg Foster made his way up, taking a hard fall on the opposite end of the court. Martinez gets it to Smith, fires up the deep two, too strong, but D'Angelo Jackson on cleanup duty. Another interior bucket as the shot clock again was not reset. Eight to 10, Vancouver trails. They get it in to Keontae Woods, guarded by Martinez. Here's Richardson, attacking on Jackson, kicks it out, Golder, back into the corner it goes. Woods fires up the mid-range jumper. Smith pulls down the rebound. Into Jones, the layup is good. And the shot clock continuing to give the score table some fits with 7.54 left to play in the quarter. Sea Kings lead 12 to eight. Woods manning the point position, hands it off to Golder. Golder gets hammered on his way up by Douglas. That is gonna be two fouls, charged to Akil. We take another look at that one. Golder with the strong take. Golder hit the opening three point bucket for the Volcanoes. And here he is now at the line shooting a pair. Off the mark on his first one. There's a substitution there for the Sea Kings. Larry Wickett, first time we've called his name as Douglas subs out. Frustrated with the two fouls. We 
Wicket swings it over to Jones. Up top, Jackson. Gives a jab step, fires the three. It's off to the right. Martinez sprinting into the corner, trying to track it down, but it trickles out of bounds. Possession shifts to the Volcanoes. Martinez pressuring Woods all the way up the court. Woods works off the screen, nearly had it poked away from him. Coleman, the 15-foot jumper is off the mark. Golder goes up to the top shelf for that rebound, but his pass is stolen away. Jackson in transition. He gets the layup to go, and he hits his head hard on the other end. And he is down. Coach E running over, and then he pops back up. Hopefully he is okay. That was a nasty spill. As we look at Jackson going coast to coast, rising up with that left hand. As now both coaching staffs doing what they can to adjust the seating below that hoop. As the Sea Kings take a five-point lead, 14-9. to nine. That is now Larry Wickett going to go down there and give a helping hand. Six fifty nine left to play here in the first quarter. So all the volcanoes start off hot from deep early with the pair of three pointers, and then Jerron Powell with the nice dunk, and then Golder hit the free throw to give them nine. Meanwhile, for the Sea Kings. They have yet to hit a three-point bucket. Doing almost all their work exclusively in the paint, whether it be a post look or just a transition opportunity. We'll step away with 6.59 left in the first quarter. We'll see you on the other side of this timeout. How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah? What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like, I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw three deer just pass by. I got a video. It was really cool. And I love the atmosphere. I love the coaches. I love everybody here. Everybody's here to get better. Everybody's here to have fun. And, you know, I like the competitiveness as well, so... Chris English back here with you live in San Jose as the Sea Kings hold a 14-9 advantage over the Volcanoes. We've had a multitude of stoppages of play, mainly coming from the shot clock malfunctions. And then D'Angelo Jackson had a fast break layup where he went sliding into the opposite seats underneath the hoop, causing another delay of players and coaches going over adjusting those seats as we take another look at that. Jackson left-handed layup, taking an awkward looking spill, but he is back up and moving. And Greg Foster, who also got banged up early on, is off on the side now, walking out whatever injury may have occurred. And it appears now we are ready for action. 
Volcanoes with the ball. Keontae Woods bringing it up the court. Finds Golder, surveying the floor. The big fella comes up to set him a screen. Jones able to stay right there with him stride for stride. They get it back to Coleman off the screen. Throws it right to Martinez with the steal. To Jackson. Jackson, the layup no good. Tipped around Golder with the rebound. Richardson crosses up. Gets inside. Too high off the glass and the putback is good. Martinez to Smith, fires up the three ball, no good, but Wicket has the rebound. The putback no good, but he is gonna go to the line for a pair of free throws. Wicket, an excellent hustle play, keeping the possession alive. Now looking to add to this lead. First free throw is good as Wicket makes his way into the scorebooks. Jackson getting a well-deserved break as Isaac Sims makes his way onto the court. Second free throw rattles in for Wicket. Well defended by the Sea Kings. Martinez in transition up ahead to Jones. Inside, great ball movement. Wicky goes up with the left hand. Oh boy, what a play. Here's Richardson. His free throw line jumper is good. Eighteen to thirteen. Martinez goes off the screen from Wicket. Pulls his dribble back, and we have an offensive foul called. Volcanoes with possession, trailing by five. I believe our scoreboard in the arena is saying 18 to 12, but scorebooks read 18 to 13. Here's Woods. Golder rips through. Passes it out. Three on the way and good by Jalen Richardson. He was ready on the catch. Here's Jones muscling his way inside. No good. Smith with the rebound. His put back off the mark. And the Volcanoes looking to tie or take the lead. Richardson works off the screen. But it's a moving screen. As the Volcanoes making a substitution. Justin Wolford onto the court. Smith passes it to Jones in the short corner. Faces up on Golder. Pivots around. Thought he had Smith still trailing behind him, but he had already cut to the basket by that point. So another turnover for the Sea Kings. And another opportunity for the Volcanoes to tie it up or take the lead. Woods wants the screen. Wolford sets it for him. Woods, two defenders contesting. Doesn't matter, still puts it in. We're all even. Martinez, up top to Smith. Gives a jab step and he walked with it. Once again, Woods wants that high screen. 
You can tell this Volcano offense loves a lot of off-ball movement like that as Richardson, another three ball. Volcanoes go up by three, 21 to 18. Smith swings it around. Martinez inside to Wicket. One of the foul didn't get it. Richardson, he's got the hot hand. Gives it to Woods, fires up a three. Off the rim, Jones with the rebound. Jones to Smith. Fouled by Keontae Woods. As it looked like for a moment there, Smith was going for one of those emphatic posterizing dunks. But a wise foul to prevent the bucket. As the old adage goes, no easy buckets. And that was certainly the case there, putting Smith at the line. As Coach Jeff Peralt working on the hand of Marcus Golder. Not sure if there was a finger popping out of place or what the issue may have been. And Smith knocks down the free throws. 21-20. Vancouver in the lead. Isaac Sims picks up the foul. Coleman inbounding on the sideline, right in front of the Sea Kings bench. I believe it will be free throws instead of the inbound. Nope, no free throws. Just the sideline inbounds. Coleman throws it in. Martinez with the steal. Duran Select gets in for the left-handed layup. Quickly making his presence known. And the Sea Kings bench now coming alive vocally as Martinez gets pegged with the foul. Kwame Bates set to inbounds, but before we get to that with 2.31 left to play in the quarter, we got a timeout on the floor. Sea Kings lead 22-21. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris English. How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah. What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw three deer just pass by. I got a video, it was really cool. And I love the atmosphere, I love the coaches, I love everybody here, everybody's here to get better, everybody's here to have fun. And you know, I like the competitiveness as well, so. to action here in San Jose, California. Matchup between the California Sea Kings and the Vancouver Volcanoes. Right now the Sea Kings, very balanced scoring attack, but it is D'Angelo Jackson leading the way with six points. 
on the flip side for the Volcanoes there, led by Jalen Richardson and his eight points as he has recently just hit two three-point buckets as his team only down a point. 22-21 as the horn sounds. There's now some music has bursted out here at Silicon Valley Sports. They get that taken care of. And the inbounds finds its way to Trayvon Eisenhut. McCowan with it. Another moving screen called. The refs are on top of it. Akil Douglas back out onto the court for the Sea Kings. He picked up those two early fouls at the onset of the quarter. He's going to have to play careful here as Martinez goes bursting through the lane. Durant Solette with the rebound. Wicket with it now up top. He takes his hand out of jumper and he buries it. Wicket now with six points off the bench. Eisenhut hands it off. Bates with it, surveys the floor, gets it over to Eisenhut. Here comes a three, no good. Offensive rebound by Wolford. Eisenhut pulls the trigger. Rebounded by Sims. And the shot clock didn't reset. The transition opportunity results in no points. Wicket set to inbound it. Wicket hands it off. Martinez, a three. No good. Pascal with the rebound. And Pascal draws a foul on Duran Solette. At the line now for the Volcanoes is Duante Pascal. Knocks down his first. And the second free throw is good for Pascal. Martinez bringing it up the court. Eisenhut guarding him the whole way. Wicket to Douglas. Steps into a three. And a whistle comes in as Sims made contact with Kwame Bates going up for the rebound. So we'll see more free throws coming for Vancouver. It's Kwame Bates trying to find his way into the scoring column. Trying to tie this game up. Converts on the first. As D'Angelo Jackson back out onto the court. In for KJ Durant Slett. Second free throw off the mark. Douglas tips it around, comes away with the rebound. Has Sims up ahead into the corner. Jackson, a catch and shoot three is good. Nothing but net for the sniper himself, D'Angelo Jackson. Here's a three by the Volcanoes trying to answer. Sims reaches up for the rebound. A whistle on the play, not sure if there's a foul or what, but now Martinez bringing it back up. Eisenhut guarding. Over to Sims. Yeah. 
Sims to Martinez. Couldn't catch and shoot as it was kind of a low pass, but Douglas is no good on the mid-range shot. Bates thought about the three. Had McCowan cutting back door. And Martinez charged with his second personal foul. With 20 seconds left in the quarter. Sea Kings holding on to a three point lead. As it looks like now a technical has been assessed. Andre McCowan knocking down the Tech free throw. Twenty-six, twenty-four. Shot clock has been turned off. Eisenhut catches and shoots off the inbounds and is fouled on his way up by Wicket. Opportunity to tie it up as we approach the conclusion of the first quarter. And the Volcanoes doing what they can from the free throw line, keeping themselves in it. Only trailing by a point. All even at 26. 10 seconds left. Martinez crosses the timeline. Works off the screen from Douglas. Four seconds left now. Martinez kicks it to the corner. Jackson, a high arcing three. Fouled on the way up, he will go to the charity stripe for three free throws to conclude this opening quarter. He's already got nine points. Halfway to his total against the Magic. And that 122-100 victory a couple of days ago. First free throw knocked in by Jackson. In double figures with 10. And no good on the second. We'll have one more free throw before we wrap up the first quarter. And he goes one of three from the stripe. And that is how we reach the end of quarter number one with the Sea Kings on top of the Volcanoes, 27-26. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV.
Chris English back on hand with you as we get ready for the second quarter of action here in San Jose, California, as the Sea Kings currently have a one-point lead over the Volcanoes, 27-26. And what ended up being a bit of a slow-moving quarter with some of the shot clock malfunctions that we had early on, but since cleaned that up and play has moved on, as that first quarter ended with Jackson getting fouled on a three, and you can still see him out there on the court kind of massaging his right shoulder, his shooting arm. And then he went to the line, only converted on one of them. Normally a very effective shooter. And the Sea Kings don't want to see him get banged up. As he had 10 points in that opening quarter. Eisenhut guarded by Martinez. Duran Slett moves over to guard him. They switch. They pass it back up top now. Pascal on the attack. Lost the handle. Able to find a cutting teammate. Blocked from behind by Jackson. And there was contact with the lower body. Jackson picking up the foul. More free throws coming for the Volcanoes. And they have shot well from the stripe in this one. As Kwame Bates knocks down his first, ties it up at 27. And he is good on the second. And the Volcanoes back with the lead. Martinez still running the point, passes it up. Duran Slett, catch and shoot, three from up top, too strong. McCowan with the rebound. Bates with it in the corner. Tried to get it inside, but Martinez there to steal it. And that pass, too much mustard on it. And the Sea Kings give it right back. Eisenhut up top. They're trying to get a post look to Wolford. Well defended by Wicket. McCowan swings it into the corner. Wolford the shot, no good. Duran Slut tracks down the rebound. He's pushing it up the court. Bounces one over. Jackson catches and then fires, but it's off the mark. It was a bit of an awkward catch going into that release as Pascal goes right through the chest of Martinez. That's a charge. Textbook defense as Martinez stood his ground and took the hit. We take another look at that one. It's exactly how you take a charge. That is the definition of taking one in the chops. As the Sea Kings now looking to regain the lead. Eisenhut shadowing Martinez all the way up the court. And Duran Slut wanting a foul call, didn't get it. As you could tell, his shorts were adjusted with the defense grabbing at him. And now a traveling violation called on Wicket. We saw Jalen Smith get pegged for that earlier. Now it's Wicket. Getting a little bit of the case of happy feet. Eisenhut works off the screen from Wolford, drops it back down. Wolford, patience in the post, and he lays it in for two. Jones quickly up ahead to Wicket. A no-look pass inside. Up top to Martinez. Kicks it back out to Wicket. Ten on the shot clock. Jones, a deep three. It falls short. Rebounded by Eisenhut. Bates. Through the defense up and under. Wolford mistimed the rebound. Duran Select gets it. Jones. Euro steps through the defense for two. What a move by Nigel Jones. 
He's on the board with six, his first bucket of the quarter. Great defense from Duran Solette. Poked it off the foot of Pascal. And Pascal standing in front of Coach E, thinking he was about to inbound it, but it went off of his foot. Martinez dumps it down low. Short corner shot by Wicket. No good. Duran Solette, look at the hustle. Inside to Jackson. Kicks it out. Jones fires up a three. No good. And there's Duran Solette once again with the offensive rebound. The no-look pass threads the needle inside. Nigel Jones. What a feed. Mid-range jumper, no good. Wicket with the rebound. Duran Solette up top, lobs one up to Jones. Hit the ground hard, no foul called. Volcanoes quickly up ahead, baits a three, it pops out. Eisenhut tips it to McCowan for the two-hand slam. Martinez moving a little bit too fast, lost the handle. And we got a timeout on the court, we'll take one with them with 8.16 left to play in the half as we get one last glimpse at that two-handed flush by McGowan. 8.16 left to play. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris English. Eight minutes and 16 seconds left in the half. Right now the scoreboard reading 31-30, advantage Sea Kings. As got to tip the cap to KJ Duronslet, who is doing the dirty work out there. Keeping... Loose balls alive on the offensive end, tracking down offensive rebounds, threading the needle, dropping dimes. Volcanoes with possession, out of that timeout. They get it inside. Golder with it at the free throw line. To McGowan. Golder splits the defense. Euros to, oh, rejected by Smith, but a blocking foul called. That's going to put Marcus Golder back at the free throw line. He currently has four points in today's matinee action. Beautiful day out here in the Bay Area. As Golder knocks down his first. And Golder, 
two of two from the stripe. Half of his points coming from the free throw line. Currently has six. As Foster, nice to see him back out onto the court after going down with a minor injury there in the opening quarter. As Jones backing down Golder, but a foul called before the shot. Foul assessed to Golder. As he's looking at official Nathan Curtis for an explanation. And Foster had the inbounds pass poked from behind by Eisenhut. Seven thirty-five left on the game clock. I believe they're resetting the shot clock, and they are. It goes from twenty-four to twenty-two. Jackson going to his right. A little bit of a bump, no foul called, but look who it is, KJ Duranslet with the offensive rebound and the putback. Up ahead, McGowan! Jones steps through, threads the needle to Smith. No good. Smith corrals the offensive rebound. Duran Silet inside Jones has it tipped, and he's going to go to the line. K.J. Duran Silet. The, he is the definition right now of the Energizer Bunny. He just keeps going. Jones now going to the line. Shooting two. As we've got a close one on our hands right now as Jones converts at the line. He has got nine points. Looking to join D'Angelo Jackson in double figures. With Jalen Richardson checking back into the game for the Volcanoes. And he had the hot hand for them in that quarter. Had eight points in the opening frame. Yet to call his name here in the second quarter as Jones knocks down a second free throw. Golder lost the handle, and the Sea Kings get it right back. Foster. Barking out where he wants his teammates at. Zips a pass cross court. Jackson the three. It's good. D'Angelo Jackson with another bucket off the dime from Greg Foster. And speaking of Foster, he picks up the foul in the paint. Putting Kwame Bates at the line. First free throw good by Bates. And all four of Kwame Bates' points coming from the line. An aggressive player by nature, loves to attack the rack. And he gets that one to go. Foster bringing it up. Duran Select going to set the screen and he slips it. He gets the ball. Turns and shoots. Not enough on it as Golder reels in the rebound. McCowan with it. To Golder inside. Lost the handle, but he corrals it again. Stifling defense. Jackson pokes it away. Jones with the steal to Jackson. Transition three is no good. But Jackson comes away with the ball. Has Foster. And Foster gets inside for two. And we're going to have a timeout on the court with 540 left to play in the half. 
as we get another look at Foster going straight through the defense as we reach a break. We'll see you on the other side. Five minutes and 40 seconds left in the half. Sea Kings up by six, 40 to 34. Volcanoes with possession. There's been brief moments where they've held the lead, but regardless of how much they've been down, they have remained close in this one. As Kwame with the and one. Kwame Bates. Touched on that earlier, an aggressive player by nature on full display right there as he goes to the line for one more. Didn't think twice about that either, even peeked over on the attack, saw the contact coming. Bates now with eight points. And a Foster draws the foul. On Golder. That's his second. Foster gets the inbounds. Eisenhut guarding. Foster comes off the screen. Reverses direction, goes up with the right hand. And a moving screen is the call. Wave off the bucket for Greg Foster. An excellent move by the guard to realize the defense was clearly shading his left side. Making our official there. Letting me know it was on. Smith, player control foul as McCowan flushes it down with authority. The emphatic slam. Jones goes up and under with a quick answer. Eight points in the quarter for Jones. Quick hands on D by Jackson. Nearly forcing a turnover. Oh, and I guess it is a turnover. Sea Kings with, no, no, the ref, Nathan Curtis, Greg Foster, fooling me. As now the uh, players discussing what the score is. 49-32 is the score we're going with right now. Into the corner goes Bates, a pump fake. He likes to drive and he's backing down. Foster in the lane, trickles out. Wicket with the rebound, throws it all the way up ahead as Jones climbs the ladder and throws it down. 10 points in the quarter for Mr. Jones. 
Bates, pump fakes, steps inside, no good. McCowan gets fouled on the putback attempt. As the Sea Kings now with a five point lead. McCowan trying to cut that deficit down. Free throw is good. Christopher Coleman entering the game for Marcus Golder. Second one off the mark, no good. Wicket gets the rebound. 44-41. Foster on the right side. Duroncelet thought about the three. Slipped and fell. And a foul charge to Jalen Richardson. As we're getting the wet spot mark mopped up out there. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the half. Sea Kings have been steadily out in front in this one. But the Volcanoes have routinely battled back, even taking the lead for themselves on occasion. As Duroncelet now at the free throw line, knocks in his first attempt. And Duroncelet goes two of two from the line. As he's got six points off the bench. Eisenhut, three off the mark. Jackson gets the board. And that pass goes right through the fingertips of Wicket. McCowan poked on his way up and he gets it to go, no foul called. 46-43. Duroncelet. His three no good. Tipped around. As the Volcanoes come away with the ball. A no look pass to McGowan. And Wicket took a nasty spill. He is slow to get up. A no look pass into Jones and the layup is good. And Wicket still grimacing in pain. As the Sea Kings take a five point lead, as Richardson cleaning up his own miss for the putback. Action really picking up here the last few minutes. Foster now going to slow the pace up. Wants the screen from Duroncelet. Takes the lane, going for the big right hand flush. Missed it off the back of the rim. Coleman turning on the Jets and gets bumped by Wicket. Coleman looking to get into the scoring column. Here at the free throw line is we got a timeout on the floor with two minutes and 28 seconds left in the first half. Sea Kings leading the Volcanoes 48-45. And if you want more TBL basketball, you can watch all TBL games from across the country on TBL TV. We'll see you after the break. <laughs>
تحت آمن حالات مسیر Back to action here. Sea Kings with the lead, 48-45. Chris English on hand for today's action. And if you're following along, I'd love to hear from you. You can hit me up on Twitter. That's at Sports with Chris. Let me know where you're watching and who you're watching. Love to give you a shout out on the broadcast. As Coleman at the line, trying to cut into this three-point deficit. Shooting two. Coleman drains the first. And as he gets set for his second free throw, I'd like to remind you too that on April 1st, right here at Silicon Valley Sports, will be the big opener. And we'll also have some pregame fun as the nine and 10 year olds will be playing an exhibition game before as there was a violation on the free throw. So we'll run it back. That nine and 10 year old game will be played by the Valley and the Central Coast teams as they battle it out. We'll have food, VIP area, adult beverages, you name it, we'll have it. No better way to spend your Friday evening or your Sunday afternoon like we have here, 48-47. Ball goes inside. Volcanoes, transition opportunity. Jalen Smith trying to put Check that Richardson trying to put Smith on the poster. And here we are taking another look at it. Looked like a, a clean block, but perhaps some contact on the lower body. As Richardson at the line now shooting a pair. Richardson in double figures with 10 points. Make it 11. Foster now calling out the play call. Or perhaps he's just flexing. <laughs> Duran Slett. Over to Jackson. Jackson hesitates. Spins around. A difficult shot for D'Angelo Jackson. Or so it looks. Five points in the quarter now for Jackson. That pass intercepted. Jones. To Jackson, the lob, too high for the outstretched arms of Jones. Volcanoes continuing to claw their way back, a chance to tie it up or take the lead. Under two minutes to play here in the opening half. Eisenhut comes off the screen, calls his own number from downtown. McCowan gets the rebound and gives it right back. Eisenhut going baseline, lost the handle. Duran Solette with the ball in transition for the Sea Kings. Jones scoops and scores. 14 points in the quarter for Nigel Jones. Richardson gets bumped by Duran Solette. And he'll go to the charity stripe. Eighteen points overall for Jones. As a strong take to the rack by Richardson. But Durant not letting him have the easy layup. Free throw good. And Richardson, again effective from the free throw line. 
A low pass finds its way to Duranslet. Layup no good. And a foul call called on KJ. They're saying he cleared out with the elbow. You can hear the Akil Douglas nursing his ankle that he banged up in the first quarter. Cheering on KJ, letting him know good hustle as McCowan knocks down the deep triple. He's got 10 points in the quarter. Jones with it up top. The Sea Kings continuing to ride the wave of Nigel Jones. Absolutely tearing it up this quarter. McCowan back up top. And Foster thought he had a clean swipe at it. Fifty-four-fifty-three. Seventeen seconds left. Coleman at the line shooting two. Coleman knocks down the first. All three of his points in this quarter coming from the line. And Coleman, another free throw. As the lead now goes back to the Volcanoes. Foster, yelling out where he wants his team to be. Has the lane, takes it, and he gets fouled on his way up. Foster at the line, shooting two. He's currently got six points. Exactly four seconds left as Foster converts on the first. We're all even at 55 apiece. And Foster's second one, no good. Quickly up ahead, Richardson, a catch and shoot three. And there was a... There was an issue with when the clock started. So, curious to see is if we go to the half off the missed three from Richardson or if the Volcanoes inbound it. And it looks like it's going to be Volcano's possession with 3.2 on the clock. Richardson going to inbound it. Coach E yelling out, no fouls. Eisenhut. as the majority of the Seeking players, or some of them, making their way to the locker room. And it looks like we're going to go to the half. As there is quite a bit of confusion on the court. And Coach E yelling out, it's halftime. So that is how we reach... The conclusion of the second quarter, all even at 55 apiece. We got a good one on our hands, excited for the second half of action. We'll see you in about 15 minutes for the start of the third quarter. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris English.
And we are back here in San Jose, California. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris English as we have a great matchup here between the California Sea Kings and the Vancouver Volcanoes. A brief score adjustment for each team, or a minor one at that. Went from 55-55 to 56-56. Got things straightened out with the scores table. So either way you slice it, we're all even as we approach the third quarter. And now a delay of game warning has been issued to Vancouver as there was some confusion as to who was going to inbound it. But it will be Jalen Richardson inbounding to Keontae Woods. Woods guarded by Foster. Comes off the screen from Powell. And Richardson with another three-point bucket. He's got 15 to lead the Volcanoes in scoring as Jones picking up right where he left off in the first half. He's got 22 to lead all scores. Golder, closely guarded by Foster. Powell with it up top. Jackson nearly coming away with the steal. Coleman zips a pass inside. Golder pivots around and the shot clock Sounded, I don't think it reset going into that possession. So they're going to reset the shot clock to six. As the shot clock woes continue. Well, I heard the official say six, but it is reading 11 on the board. Woods inbounding. Coleman, free throw line jumper. Too strong. Colder. Leaping his way up top, drawing a foul. Take another look at that one going for the putback jam. They get it in. Coleman, Difficult scoop lip, gets the offensive rebound. Richardson open for another three, and it goes bottom. Jalen Richardson. And it goes out. Sea Kings take possession. Sea Kings now trailing by four. Foster looking for someone to get it into. Jackson. Fires up the corner three. It falls short. Rebounded by Richardson. Threads the needle inside to Coleman. That one was on a rope. Largest lead of the game now for the Volcanoes. Foster attacks. Kicks it back. Jackson. Steps into a mid-range jumper, too high off the glass. Coleman, cross-court pass. Richardson soars through the air and flushes it down. And we got a timeout by the Sea Kings. And we'll take one with them as we take one last glimpse at that big-time dunk as we've reached a timeout. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV. Don't touch that dial.
65-58. Volcanoes in front of the Sea Kings. And Jalen Richardson has the hot hand right now for the Volcanoes. Has seven of their nine points in this quarter. Foster going to his left. Has Smith inside. The reverse layup is good. Woods resetting things up top. Going to his right. Coleman pump fakes. Picks his dribble up now. Five on the shot clock. Corner three for number three, but it's no good. Coleman gets the offensive rebound. Now it's Golder. The shot clock never reset off the miss. Sixty-five, sixty. Sea Kings now the ones trying to come from behind. Richardson gets the inbounds. As there's more issues with the clock. Nathan Curtis officially comes over, saying 22 seconds on the shot clock. 9.21 left in regulation. Powell gets it off the inbounds, and he resets it back to Woods. Into the corner, Richardson. Three no good. Jones bumped, but no foul called. Still gets the rebound. Jackson to Wicket. Wicket through the defense for two. Sixty-five, sixty-two. One possession ball game now for the Sea Kings if they can get a stop. Woods passes it over to his right. Richardson goes against the screen set by Coleman. Cross court pass to Golder. And now we have a shot clock violation. Sims left open for a three, no good. It gets popped all the way back out to Jones. Foster swings it to Sims, into the corner. Smith, a three. It's good, nothing but nylon. Jalen Smith. And Wicket, I believe was fouled. As now Powell getting some sort of explanation from our official. So with the foul, the Sea Kings going to keep possession after tying it off the three from Jalen Smith. Jones hesitates. Back to Wicket at the free throw line. He pulls for two, and he knocks it down. A five-point possession, if you will, for the Sea Kings to regain the lead, 67-65. Woods takes a bump, pulls things back. Goes to work on Jones. Wicket blitzes him, nearly had the steal. Golder in the corner. A well-contested shot. Powell with the offensive rebound. Put back is good. Sea Kings trying to get another one. Woods with the rebound.
Volcano's trying to go back in front. This closely contested battle. Coleman, the mid-range jumper too strong. And Foster got bumped on the rear side. Foster bringing it up the court. Smith has appeared to have been the go-to guy this quarter with five points. Foster on the attack, trying to find someone, has Wicket at the elbow. Two big steps in the lane, shot off the mark, Woods with the rebound to Richardson. Richardson, a cross-court pass. Corner three, Golder. No, they're gonna roll that one to two. And Foster draws contact. Keontae Woods charged with the foul. Let me take another look at that one. Didn't really come with his arms per se, more so just jumping into the airspace of Foster. First free throw is up and in. Sixty-nine, sixty-eight. Foster looking to tie this ball game up. And he does just that. Defense chance breaking out on the Sea Kings bench. As we are slated for quite the finish in this one as Woods! Had his shot momentarily blocked by Jones, but it's a goaltend. Give the bucket to Keontae Woods. Foster. Inside, lays it off the glass for two. Seventy-one, seventy-one. Coleman pivots around. A high arcing shot, no good. And it's gonna stay on that end of the court. Five fifty-one left in the quarter. Both of these teams just battling it out. Richardson comes flying off the screen, no good. Jones gets the rebound. Foster, no look pass. Sims soars through the air for two. And the Sea Kings go up by a deuce. Powell. Goes up high to set the screen. Woods goes against it, takes a bump, and he'll go to the line for two. Woods, you can see, just reading the defense, saw the lane and took it. And then Wicket, not a fan of the call, but definitely got him with the lower body. And first free throw attempt for Keontae, no good. Martinez back onto the court, giving Foster a well-deserved break. And we got a timeout on the court with 5.28 left to play in the third quarter. The Sea Kings on top of the Volcano, 73-71. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris Inglage.
Five minutes and 29 seconds left. Sea King 73, Volcanoes 71. And what has been a back and forth game all throughout. It seemed like for the majority of the first half, the Sea Kings were in control, but then there were those moments where the Volcanoes would just come surging back and take the lead themselves. And that's exactly how this third quarter has been. Both of these teams just battling their way through it. And now Keontae Woods shooting the back end of his free throws. And he knocks it down. 73-72, Sea Kings looking to add to their lead. Martinez over to Sims, back up top. Martinez surveying the floor, motioning guys through. Jones a catch and shoot free throw line jumper on the money. 24 points. Jones doing exactly what he did as he helped lead this team to that 22 point win over the Magic where he had 26 points. As Woods has that one sent into the wall. Nigel Jones says, not in my house. Swats it like a fly. And now, Coach E running over to the scores table. And the shot clock accidentally reset. So now it's at five seconds. McCowan catches the inbounds. A nice hesitation move to open himself up, but the three pointer barely grazes the rim. Durant Sillette with the rebound. Jones racing up the court through the defense, fouled on his way up by Richardson. Jones a little short there on his first attempt and he knew the moment he released it, you could hear him groaning. Trying to make this a two possession game. As he knocks down the back end of those free throws, 76-72. Richardson picked his dribble up and resets it to Woods up top guarded by Martinez. Back it goes to Richardson. Golder pops out. Richardson takes the lane inside for two. Smith. Bumped in to Bates. That's an offensive foul. Looked like for a moment it was going to be a traveling violation. As we get our first look at Seth Cox in for Smith. Richardson on the outside. McCowan goes to work on Cox, lost the handle. Jones to Sims, and Sims hammers it home. Here's Richardson on the attack. Deflected out of bounds, Volcanoes keep the ball. Another look at Sims. As he made the dunk, but he missed the high five of Nigel Jones. <laughs> McCowan inbounding. The big Seth Cox standing in front of him. And Eisenhut able to track it down in the corner. Richardson swings a pass over. Bates, a three!
Jones crosses up, gets inside, takes the bump before the shot. And D'Angelo Jackson getting ready to come back into this one. Had 15 first half points. As he goes in for Martinez and Foster re-enters for Martinez and Sims. Cox wants it, posting up McCowan. He gets it in the short corner. Sizing him up, fires it off the back of the rim. Eisenhut had it poked out of his grasp. Durant Solette doing the dirty work once again. His first points of the half. 80 to 77. Into the corner it goes. McCowan head fakes. McCowan drives and he gets fouled. Two free throws coming for Andre McCowan. Is Duranslet was straight up in theory, but he was moving into the space, impeding on McCowan, resulting in the foul call. And he knocks down his first. His first points of the half. He's got 12. He had 11 first half points coming off the bench. His second attempt, no good. One possession game as the Sea Kings try to build on this lead. Foster motioning Gronsolet around. Jones goes up to set the high ball screen. Now he gets it and he attacks. Jackson clears out. Jones goes up and under. And a foul before the shot. So we will be getting free throws now. Jones shooting two. Jones now with 26 points matching his output in their last game. Sims back out onto the court. In for Duran Salette. And the free throw being waved off. Lane violation. So the score remains the same. 81-78. Richardson kicks it out. Bates, a step back three off the pump fake, too strong. Rebounded by Foster and Sims. Made contact with Bates. As Sims charged now with the foul. And Bates moving his arm around. Nothing funny about getting hit in the funny bone. That's for sure. So Eisenhut will be inbounding on the far sideline. As the Volcanoes either looking to get within one or possibly tie it up with a three-pointer. McCowan crosses up. It's blocked by Cox. Up ahead, Sims tracks it down. And he missed it. Poked around, loose ball. Volcanoes come away with it. A wild pass soars out of bounds. Terrific defense, though, on the opposite end by Seth Cox. Sat the bench the entire first half and playing superb defense here in the second half. Jones able to draw another foul as a technical has now been assessed to Kwame Bates, continuing to debate with Nathan Curtis. So we'll have 
Well, it looks like D'Angelo Jackson shooting the technical free throw. And Jackson able to knock it down. His first point of the second half. He's now on the board with 16. As he exploded in the first half. And after a slow first quarter for Jones, he has since exploded. For 26 points. First free throw, spit out by the rim. And the second one goes down. So official Nathan Curtis over at the scores table. A minute 48 left in the quarter. And we are ready for basketball. At least I am. McCowan gets the inbounds to Eisenhut. Back to McGowan. Eisenhut pulls from deep, rebounded by Jackson. Sea Kings looking to add to this lead, and Jones will do just that. Eighty-five, seventy-eight. Momentum shifting towards the Sea Kings. Richardson gets inside for two. He's got nine points this quarter. Check that 11 as Jackson for three, no good. Jones making his way up. Volcanoes with numbers. McCowan finds Richardson. And Richardson on fire in this third quarter. Jones puts the defense through the spin cycle. And to take another look at that pirouette spin move from Jones, earning himself another trip to the line. As Jones right now sitting with 29 points, doing what he can, just willing them, hopefully, to what will be a Sea Kings victory. As he knocks down the first, he's now in the books with 30. And Jones, two of two from the stripe. 87-82. 40 seconds left in the quarter. Richardson, a three from up top, another one. Sixteen points in the quarter. Foster sneaks a pass inside, and he finds the cutting Nigel Jones. He's got two more. Ten seconds left in the quarter. Richardson drives, kicks it out, corner, shot up, no good. Five seconds left now. Foster pulls the trigger, it's good! Tickles the twine, Greg Foster with the bucket. What a way to end the quarter for the Sea Kings. 92 to 85 as we head to the fourth quarter for the final 12 minutes of regulation in this one as we take another look before we hit the break 
Foster looked up, saw the clock, and said, hey, we'll take a three-point layup. Bang, bang, just like that. We have reached the fourth quarter. Don't touch that dial, folks. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV with Chris English. The Sea Kings close out that third quarter with a surge of momentum and they will start off the fourth quarter with possession and a seven point advantage as Sims unable to corral it. Possession will stay on this end of the court. Sea Kings outscoring the Volcanoes 36-29 in that quarter. They quickly get it in. Durant Slut, a catch and shoot three off the front of the rim, but Jackson gets the rebound and can't put it back in. McCowan with it. Up ahead. Oh, it's blocked by Duran Slett. What a defensive effort to get in front of Trayvon Eisenhut. Sixteen on the shot clock. McCowan on the inbounds. Gets it into Pascal. Pascal trying to split the defense to a cutting or a slipping McCowan off the screen. And it was a kicked ball violation, so I would. Possession will stay on this side, but now they're just determining as to what the shot clock is going to be at. So the shot clock will stay at nine. 11.25 left in regulation. Volcano's in need of some offense. Trailing by seven. McCowan sends it over. Three on the way to Strong. Sims with the rebound. Sims right down Broadway and mishandled it, trying to get it to Durant in the corner. You can hear Coach E yelling out to Sims, saying, hey, next play, next play. Richardson with it. Had quite the third quarter. A beautiful pass inside, well defended by the Sea Kings. It'll stay down on that end with 12 on the shot clock, exactly 11 minutes left to play. Richardson in the corner, trying to draw a foul. No call comes. And Sims, the errant pass goes out. As Larry Wickett now subs in. Giving Nigel Jones a well-deserved breather. Eisenhut, the no-look pass into the corner. Richardson surveys the floor, gets a pass inside. Bates! And one! Oh, 
as Coach E now has to make his way out onto the court. Injured player, so we will take a break with 10.37 left to play. How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah. What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like, I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw three deer just pass by. I got a video. It was really cool. And I love the atmosphere. I love the coaches. I love everybody here. Everybody's here to get better. Everybody's here to have fun. And, you know, I like the competitiveness as well, so... So Kiwami Bates now at the free throw line. Sims had to exit. There was an apparent shoulder injury down there. As Coach E has now stepped away from the team to go assist him. As Bates' free throw is no good. Wicket gets it to Smith. Jackson, three no good. Duran Slett, once again with the effort, keeping things alive for the Sea Kings. They get it into Smith. Jackson, up top to Wicket. And the ball going back now to the Volcanoes. Both of these teams still trying to get it figured out on offense in this quarter. As right now the only points in the quarter coming from Kwame Bates. 92-87 is our score. As the clock started a little premature. And Eisenhut now bringing it up the court. McCowan pulls from way downtown and buries it. Duran Slett. Cross court pass. Jackson can't answer back. Wicket with the old board. Powers his way inside. Gets it to Smith. Duran Slett keeping possession alive. And a foul occurred before the shot. K.J. Duran Salette, an offensive rebounding machine. Shot clock goes from 6 to 24 off the foul. Sea Kings with a two-point lead. Still have yet to score here in this quarter. As the officials now getting more clarity at the scores table. Meanwhile, Nigel Jones and teammate Akil Douglas sharing a word with Jalen Smith. Foster, guarded by Eisenhut, looks over at Jackson, mouths, I got you, gets inside, back up top to Jackson, Jackson on the drive, kicks it out to Wicket, Wicket makes his attack, floater in the lane is good, Wicket gets to see Kings on the board this quarter, 94 to 90, Bates turns the corner, and finishes at the rack. Foster quickly bringing it up. Duran Solette. 
Hesitates and then steps into a deep two. Jackson trying to come away with the steal on the inbounds. Great effort by the Sea Kings. 96-92. Richardson attacks and he traveled. Eight minutes and 51 seconds left. Sea Kings with a four point lead. Durant Slett hesitates and now attacks. Inside the scoop and score! KJ Durant Slett. Have a day. Slipping and sliding. Sea Kings in transition off the glass. Smith able to come away with it. It's blocked from behind. Three on the way, no good. Wicket comes away with the rebound. Double tech now assessed. Eight oh four left to play. Foster going to be inbounding underneath the Sea Kings bucket. Foster gets it into Jackson. A hard shot, kept alive, but a foul on the rebound. Ninety-eight, ninety-two. Volcanoes in need of some offense. Richardson sees the lane, takes it, wiped away. Jalen Smith rises up, and Jackson finishes the transition opportunity with the layup. Here's the three on the other end. Bounces high over the glass, and the Sea Kings feel a sense of momentum. as we take another look at that terrific defensive effort from Jalen Smith. Foster telling the team where he wants him to be. Has Durant Slett cutting inside open on the block, nothing but net. 14 points. It's a 10 point game, oh ho ho! And Jalen Smith nearly plucking away that pass. Still all the time in the world for the Volcanoes to garner some momentum of their own. But they're gonna need to do it and need to do it quick. Twelve on the shot clock. Inbounds goes to Woods. Hands it off. Now it goes to McCowan. Golder with it. Two on the shot clock. One. The Volcanoes not aware of the time dwindling down. And the Sea Kings cause another turnover. And with that, we got a timeout on the court with 6.53 left in regulation. Sea Kings on top of the Volcanoes, 102 to 92. You're watching live on NorCal Sports TV.
How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah. What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like, I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw just passed by. I got a video. It was really cool. And I love the atmosphere. I love the coaches. I love everybody here. Everybody's here to get better. Everybody's here to have fun. And, you know, I like the competitiveness as well. So. Foster bringing it up the court for the Sea Kings. They got a 10 point advantage under seven minutes to play in regulation. They used a big scoring third quarter in large part from Nigel Jones. Here's Foster from deep. Woods, I believe was fouled on the rebound unless he fouled Smith. They're gonna say Smith got fouled by Woods. So they're shifting now from under the basket to the sideline. Foster inbounding. Has Jackson. Back to Foster. Oh, what a hesitation move. But his layup is no good. Smith fouled on his way up after getting the offensive rebound. Jalen right now with seven points. And Smith no good on his first attempt. And Smith knocks down the back end of his free throws. Golder and hands it off. To Woods. Woods. Mid range jumper, no good. Wicket with the rebound. Foster stops on a dime up top, picks his dribble up, sends it to the high post. Durant Slett turns and fires. He's got another one. KJ. Eight points in the quarter. McCowan, an open three. His second triple this quarter. Foster, cross court pass is intercepted. Bates comes away with it. Bates passes it into no man's land. A diving effort from Wicket to tip it out to Foster. What a play. Pure hustle. 107.95. McCowan drives the lane. I think that one was deflected by Wicket, but a foul called as his momentum carried him right into him. As we take another look at that one, Wicket just diving for it. And Foster in the right place at the right time. And despite not being able to be on the court, Akil Douglas doing everything he can, cheering on his team from the side. McCowan knocks down his first free throw. Nigel Jones re-enters. Jones right now with 33 points. Really got going there in the second and third quarter after only putting up four in the first quarter. Second free throw off the mark. Here's a steal. McCowan, Bates picks his dribble up. Smith 
Pokes it out. Sims comes away with it. Sims out. Foster, corner three. Bang, it's good. Greg Foster from deep. Bates with it to Golder. They get it inside. Powell backing down Jones. It's wiped away. And six seconds remain on the shot clock, and the Volcanoes will inbound underneath their basket. They get it in. Golder hesitates. Back and down, the fadeaway jumper, not enough on it. Powell with the rebound, his put back is rejected. And I think they, I'm not sure if they're gonna count the bucket or not. And, and they are. As we have 4.25 left to play. 110 to 99. Foster bringing it up the court. Jones sizes up McCowan. And another beautiful move from Nigel Jones. Double team didn't bother him in the slightest. McCowan. Some fancy handles up top. Quick dribbling and he draws a foul. Sims now with four fouls. Richardson back out onto the court for the Volcanoes. In for Kiwami Bates. Golder inbounding on the far side. Inbounds was tipped by Smith. Golder quickly gets it back, flushes it down for two, and an emphatic pull up, and that's gotta be a tech. There was the momentary grab of the rim where you could tell he kinda had to do the brief pull up, but then the extra extension, I think is what earned him a tech, as we got another look at it here. See, he finishes the dunk, and then he just hangs on there, swinging like a pendulum on it. So you can count the dunk, but then the tech as well. So Durant Slett shooting the technical free throw, which is good. 113-101 is our score. Sea Kings closing this game out on a strong note. Trying to extend that perfect record to one more win, 4-0. Meanwhile, Volcanoes trying to get their first win of the year. Foster up top. Hesitates, sees the lane, goes up with the right hand. Seven points in the quarter now for Greg Foster. And Powell lost it off the mitts. Sea Kings will take over. Foster, Duran Slett, the three is good. 12 points in the quarter for KJ. Richardson, trying to feed Golder in the corner but his pass was deflected out of bounds. Jackson in for Sims. 3.02 left in regulation. 13 on the shot clock here for the Volcanoes. Duranslet nearly stealing the inbounds pass. As McGowan all the way inside for two more. Jones backing down McGowan. And then the whistle comes in.
There's the ball. <laughs> and don't know if you guys could pick up the voice of Greg Foster, but he's saying that's an island out there, and that is a tough island to cover. And he's right, as Nigel Jones with 35 points. And Jones knocks down the free throw. And Jones splits the free throws. A 119-103. McCowan has it short corner wide open for the shot, and it's good. Not the guy you want to leave open. A terrific score at all three levels of this game. Inside it goes. Jones has it. And he walked. And Jones frustrated with the call is there was an official right there saying that if that's your call, you should make that call. Although the official on the opposite end explaining it. Woods comes off the screen. McCowan with it. He's pretty much done all their offense this quarter, and he's got three more as he hits that one from another area code. One nineteen, one oh eight. And McCowan, a little too much chirping at the officials. Draws another tech. Jackson shooting the tech free throw. And he is just gazing at the rim. And Coach E doing what he does best, motivating his players, just telling them to move on. Jones knocks down the free throw. Four points this quarter. And the Sea Kings call a timeout up 120 to 108 with 153 left. We will take one with them. Fans would like to thank you for tuning into this one, and if you want to watch more TBL basketball games, you could find all their games across the country at tbl.tv. And then right here at Silicon Valley Sports on April 1st will be the big opener event. They'll have a VIP watching area before the game. We'll have the 9- and 10-year-old game before. It'll be an exhibition contest between the Valley and the Central Coast. Will be a great day of action, great day of basketball here at Silicon Valley Sports. And 
All the action brought to you by NorCal Sports TV. For more coverage, you could find NorCal Sports TV at NorCal Sports TV on all social media platforms. As Jones now getting ready for his second free throw. It's no good. 120 to 108. McCowan, pump fakes, goes up for the floater and drains it. Sixteen points in the quarter for McCowan. Duran Slett hesitates on the three, sees the lane, and has the ball poked from his hands. McCowan, a transition three, too strong. The put back slam. Marcus Golder. It's an eight-point game. Volcano's not going down without a fight. Foster fouled on his way up. Counted and one. Another look at that one as Foster just takes the contact, dishes out a couple of boxing moves on the hoop, and he's going to the line to get one more attempt. A free throw no good, but Duran Slett with the offensive rebound. Sims pump fakes in the corner and gets bumped. As Sims doing some push-ups there right in front of our broadcast table. Keontae Woods sharing a few words with Coach E. As Sims knocks down his free throw. A chance for one more as the Sea Kings lead by 11 points with just under a minute to play. Tack on one more. Woods gets the inbounds. McCowan, another mid-range jumper is on the mark. As Nathan Curtis again at the scores table. 124-116 is what the scoreboard reads. And the Volcanoes calling a timeout. We'll take one with them. How was camp for you, Blake? It was really fun. Yeah. What was your favorite part of NorCal Sports TV's summer basketball camp? The atmosphere. Just being out here, feeling close to nature. Like, I woke up in the morning from getting my award uh, for the 6 a.m. practices. I woke up in the morning, I saw three deer just pass by. I got a video. It was really cool. And I love the atmosphere. I love the coaches. I love everybody here. Everybody's here to get better. Everybody's here to have fun. And, you know, I like the competitiveness as well, so...
124-116 is the score. Chris English on hand with you for today's action as the Sea Kings looking to close this game out with some momentum to get the win. The lob to Wicket says, welcome to my poster. Oh boy, what a play. Again, the Sea Kings. They have it up top. It's Jones! Bring the house down! Why don't you? Oh, my goodness. Talk about closing the game out with momentum. Nigel Jones. What a play. McCowan, pump fakes, spins, picks his dribble up, rises up from the free throw line, and then got bumped going into the shot. McCowan now at the line as Wicket fouled out. As LeJuan Marshall and Jeffrey Chang making their first appearance. And for the Sea Kings as McCowan knocks down the free throw. And Andre McCowan having a phenomenal game. Mishandled out of bounds. 10 seconds for the Volcanoes left in this one. This one all but over as the Sea Kings lead 128 to 118. Woods, guarded by Chang, crosses him up. McGowan pump fakes, steps inside, goes off the glass for two more. And the horn sounds, and the Sea Kings are victorious 128 to 120. Oh, for protocol purposes, there was a second left. So this one not over. Duran Slett has to inbound it, gets it into Chang. And now we have reached our conclusion. Sea Kings winning, moving their record to 4-0. 128 to 120. Vancouver now drops to 0-4. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this one. It was a joy to be on the call with you. God bless, and we will see you next time.